Hi everyone and welcome back to another ANSIG how-to. Today we will be showing you how to wire a CAT6 RJ45 Ethernet plug. Here are the tools you will need. CAT6 plugs, unshielded twisted pair solid or stranded core CAT6 cable, a cable stripping tool, scissors, a crimping tool and a network testing tool. Wiring CAT6 Ethernet plugs is similar to wiring CAT5E plugs. However, CAT6 rated RJ45 Ethernet plugs must be used with CAT6 cable. The plugs we are using have tri-point gold-plated connectors and can be used with both stranded or solid core cables. First, slide the boot onto the cable. Using the cable stripper tool, carefully remove the PVC to expose the inner wires. Ensure that no wires are damaged. If this is the case, adjust the length of the blade by twisting the knob at the top of the cable stripper and retry. Separate the inner wires from the spine divider. Now cut the divider off. Untwist the wires and straighten them out. There are two types of wiring standards, A and B. It doesn't matter which one you choose as long as you follow the same standard at both ends. In this video, we will be wiring our plugs as per the B standard. Line the cables up according to the B standard. These plugs have a load bar to assist in securing the cables into the plug. Some plugs on the market may not include this. Trim the ends of the wire at 45 degree angle so that they are easy to slide into the load bar. Once inside the load bar, trim them evenly. Hold the plug with the gold contacts facing up and the tab facing down. Then insert the wires firmly into the connector, ensuring that they maintain contact according to the B standard. The outer PVC layer should be anchored inside the plug. Insert the plug into the crimper by placing it in the tool. Squeeze the handles to crimp down and this will secure the wires and the cable in the plug. Now slide the boot back onto the plug which will provide strain relief. In order to know that the Ethernet plug is working properly, we will need to test it using a network tester like this one. Plug both ends of the Ethernet cables into the ports of the tester and turn the tester switch on. We should see it light up. The tester will filter through each wire. If the illuminated light corresponds to the light adjacent for each one, then we know that the plugs are correctly wired. If this is not the case, then you will need to rewire either the left or right side, depending on which one isn't working correctly. For any more questions or assistance, visit our website or refer to the contact numbers at the end of this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.